So the next thing I'm going to talk about are the three types of appeals. When we're making an argument, we can make an appeal to pathos, logos, or ethos. Ethos or ethos, either way. Pathos is an appeal to emotion. It's where we get our term pathetic. Pathetic comes from pathos. It's an appeal to emotions. Um, it's also an appeal to values, um, beliefs. That's what pathos is. So if we were making an appeal based mainly on pathos, we're trying to appeal to the emotions of our audience, their emotions, their belief system, their values, those types of things. So we might use some sort of um, tragic story or something to appeal to their emotions, to kind of pull on their heartstrings. That can be an effective way to get your audience to kind of to persuade them in your direction, whether or not you're persuading them to think a certain way or to actually do something. So we have pathos is our first appeal. The next appeal is logos. Logos is where we get our word logic. It comes from logos, so you can kind of think of that. Logos is an appeal based on logic or reason. When we're making an appeal, when um, an appeal based on logic or reason, we're going to think of things like facts and figures, statistics, studies, surveys, hard data, number. Think numbers, kind of thing. Not always numbers, but but we're going to stick with uh, facts and figures, that sort of thing. So we're appealing to the reasonable side of our audience by using. Um, that type of support. And our third appeal is ethos. Ethos is an appeal. Ethos is an appeal based upon ethics. Our word ethics comes from ethos. So it's uh, it's making an ethical appeal. So what that has to do? It has to do with several different things. Mainly, your credibility as a writer. How credible are you? Do you know what it is you're talking about? Do you have experience with your subject matter? Also, if you've used sources, have you used them credibly? That means giving those sources. It means not taking them out of context, using them as they were meant to be used, using them in an ethical manner. So it has to do both with your credibility and how you pass off your your knowledge base. You don't have to be an expert to be credible, just an experience in that in whatever your topic is you know, can provide needed credibility. And also, you know, do you use reliable sources? Things like um, <coughs> scholarly published journals as opposed to something from Vogue magazine. Okay, so what type of sources are you using? That's, that can be uh, an appeal based upon um, ethos or your credibility as a writer. When we're, when we're writing our arguments, we can rely on any of these types of appeals. We most likely will be relying on all of them to an extent. Not always, but they can all be used together within the same argument. So you may... Um, to appeal to different types of audiences, you may use uh, an appeal to logic or reason by using um, you know, some scientific data or using outside research, that sort of thing. Or we may make an, em an emotional appeal as well as using the appeal to logic or reason. So you can, they can go hand in hand. They're not mutually exclusive. Sometimes a really well-balanced appeal will have all three. So uh, keep in mind that, that, that they can all be used in conjunction with one another. To give you an idea of how this can be put into practice, we're going to look at 
page 524 in your textbook.